I'm here with Jared Cavalli, founder of Pristine Auction, and we're about to have an epic box battle with 2021-22 Prism Basketball. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies, and at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me and my team as we help you profit from the hobby we all love. Hello! sports card investors and you are looking live at the pristine auction headquarters here in phoenix arizona we just completed an incredible warehouse tour you guys probably saw that on our sports card investor youtube channel here just a few days ago but we are not done yet because jared has challenged me to a box battle before we leave the warehouse today and it's going to be a good one. Jared, why did you pick out these boxes of 2021-22 Prism Basketball? I mean, you can't go wrong with Prism. Yep. Um, there, you know, there's, the ceiling's really high. So, uh, and it's a, it's a nice box. What is this, about a $1,000 box? Yeah, about a $1,000 box right now, each of these boxes. And of course, with the NBA season now underway, yeah. we're expecting great performances from some of these guys. And in fact, uh, on my computer screen over here, I just brought up Market Movers X. I brought up the set charts in Market Movers X where you can look at all of the different cards by value. And you can see that actually right now, Jared, the most valuable card is uh, Jalen Green. His uh, This is his silver card in raw condition. If we pull one of those, that's a $121 card. Followed by Kay Cunningham, second most valuable. Scotty Barnes, third most valuable. You've then got Evan Mobley, Josh Giddy, Jonathan Kuminga. Franz Wagner. So you got a whole bunch of different options here of exciting players who hopefully are going to have some breakout performances this season. Of course, those are the silver prices, but what we're really going for are numbered parallels where hopefully maybe we can find a gold out of 10 or something of that nature or the autograph cards, which you're guaranteed two of in each of these boxes. So I get both. Most valuable card, I get both these boxes. Is that how this if works? You, if you, the way that it works is we're going to open pack by pack and when you feel like you pulled the most valuable card in your box, you gotta stop. Okay. And then the other person, when they feel that they got their most valuable card, they're gonna stop, we're gonna show the cards, and whoever's card is more valuable, yes, wins both boxes. So okay. this is this is a high stakes battle. $2,000 worth of boxes on the line. You ready to get started? Let's do it. You want me to go first? Go ahead, rip All your right. box. I'm gonna have Ooh. you hand me that knife so I can get mine started here as well. Yes, sir. Awesome. Weapon of choice. All right, one pack. Back in the day, I never picked the right one. And I would just pick one pack. Let's see how I do here. This guy right here. One pack, you know the rules. All right. Don't tell them what I'm looking at here. All right, bases aren't gonna do anything for me. Yeah, you're really looking for ideally numbered cards, but also obviously right, silvers or color. some of the different colored parallels. Not really what I'm looking for. That's probably not what I'm looking for. Oh, 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 oh. You got a decision on your hands I already. Don't, I don't think so. I mean, there's no way. Sorry, buddy. Nothing personal, Mr. I can't say your name because I've got my opponent next to me here. Yeah, I definitely, it's kind of a bummer because I wasted one of my hits here. Yep, I'm moving on. You're moving on, okay. Moving so on. you're going to your next pack. So I'm gonna open up my first pack. He's decided not to stop. Jared is continuing to roll. So I'm gonna go through my next pack here, see what we get. Looking for those color cards, looking for those. Okay, I got a silver, all right. And I have my first numbered card. Ooh. Okay. You don't sound very excited about no, it. No, not good enough to stop, not good enough to stop. Oh, I got one of those cool 75 year in the NBA cards, a silver of that. Rookie card. All right, nothing, nothing exciting, another rookie there, but nothing exciting enough to stop. So we're gonna go on to pack two. You can go ahead, Jared. All righty, pack two. All right, let's see. Bunch of base. Oh, with some color. Oh. It is a, I can't, 
I want to speak, but I can't speak. You got rookie color, huh? I do, but I don't think it's the guy on my uh, you don't on you, my watch list. Okay, yet. okay. So I can't imagine that's the card I'm going to stop on. Unless it's real low numbered. Sometimes even you know uh, secondary rookies, if it's real low numbered, right. it can still have a lot of value. All right, I got to move on. You're moving I on. Go to pack three. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going with my pack two. I like that you're getting a couple of your hits there out of the way. Yeah, I'm sure you do. That's uh, <laughs> that's good news for me. You had a rookie. A rookie color and you moved on from it. I like the sound yep. of that. Yep. All right, so that, we got a little color here, but nothing, nothing exciting enough there to stop on, despite the fact that that is in fact numbered. Um, we're gonna keep, keep it going. It's a Florida Gator right there. The last guy I showed. It's a good rookie, but just a base. All right. Keep going, Jared. Go. Keep right. going. Oh, I got something cool in the back. All right, we got a bunch of base. And the good stuff. Oh, another rookie. A lower numbered rookie. Man. I gotta read. I might need to read a bio here. All right, and then the rest aren't gonna work. Although that's kind of cool. I didn't know. I don't know if that's worth anything, but it's pretty stinking cool. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't know how much I want to press my luck. I don't think this is the guy I need to stop on, but. If you'd like, you can consult Market Movers if you want to look up uh, current pricing. I don't mind you doing that. All right, can you scroll down for me? Sure, here you go. Here you go, we'll let you, uh, I'll show you. I gotta, the, I gotta use my poker face. Show here. you the order of the rookies here. I may or may not have seen them yet. Uh-huh. But keep scrolling. <laughs> Oh man, we're going to the bottom here. Yikes. Yeah, so if he's if you haven't seen him yet, it's definitely getting lower in the uh, pecking order. Man, it's just a matter of how much I want to press my luck. I can't imagine we'll that keep... this has been my most valuable card. Yeah, we'll keep going down here. Some more rookie cards there. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? All right, I'll move on. Okay. One of the other guys you passed on, you saw him there? I eventually saw him, but you were scrolling for a long time. Yeah, I was scrolling for a long time. All right, and it's okay. Once you pass on a card, it's okay to tell me what you had. Okay. If you, because obviously it's gone Well, I can point. tell you he was the Turkish League MVP. Oh, okay. So that made me think that maybe this guy's good. I don't know how to say his name. Al Alperin Sanguin? Okay, Sanguin? He's, he's on down the list. He's not, yeah. he's not a top 10, not a top 10 rookie. But it was low numbered. So oh, was it? What was the number two? Out of 125. Okay. All right. I, I think you could probably do better than that. I think you could do better than that. I think you do better. If it was like number to 10 or something, I, I would say you yeah, probably yeah, should have stopped. Gotcha. Yes. Got a silver there. Oh, formerly the Atlanta Hawks. Heat man. That guy's been a disappointment. That's not a not a wonderful numbered card to get. Would have been numbered. It would have been great at some point, but not uh, not how, with how his career turned out. All right. Nope, got to keep moving on, Jared. See, I'm worried though, because I've hit two colored rookies already. So yeah. That's what's got me worried. Yep. That's what's got me worried. All right, what is this? Pack four? What do we got in here? Twelve. Twelve right, packs a little, total. Got a little light Twelve left. packs total. So you're still not, you're not halfway through yet. Oh, I see color. Oh, I see lots of. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's not numbered, but dang. That's pretty. Also not his rookie year, so it's probably not going to do it for me. That one's numbered, but not a rookie. If you not get an animal do. print, those are super short print, you know, type cards. Um, and then some print. of the other color variations, you know, can be worth something. The hypers yeah, like are which, nice. Like which kinds? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's what more, more look, than I can name. What does hyper look like? The hyper ones, they're like silver, but they have an extra pattern to them. So it's like kind of a, they look like the Mojo uh, refractors in baseball a bit. Um, those are pretty good. Okay, I, I think he's got one of these. That's what I'm no, assuming at this I don't. point. No, I don't. I'm just waiting for more descriptions of other colors, but I don't think there's... I think that I might regret passing on that just because I'm pressing my luck already, I feel like. But uh, I can't imagine that being the most valuable card. Okay. Maybe I need to have more confidence in my $1,000 box. So you're done with that pack? Yeah, I passed. All right, what did you pass on? A Jaw Morant. This is like a red, what is oh, that? Oh, okay, a red, a red uh, yeah, I think that's the red wave. The red wave, yeah. are those pretty common then? Yeah, yeah, those are those are relatively common. Okay. That was that was a good, good pass. pass. Good yeah, that pass. was a good pass. Right. That's not like one of the super short print uh, variations. I'm just uh, impartial, I just like Jaw Morant, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you can look, even though this isn't Jaw Morant's rookie year, you can still, there's, you know, if you hit a low number Jaw Morant card, that's still gonna be very valuable. But yeah. 
that's not that uncommon of a parallel. It's got to be a pretty low numbered yeah. parallel for that to have value. Mindset, Russell Westbrook. I don't know what his mindset is. I'm not sure it's a good one. No. All right. Man, I got absolutely nothing in that pack. Nothing in that pack. It's All right. a lot of discipline for me to look straight when Jeez. you open your pack. I'm not going to lie. Jeez. All right, go on to your next one, Jerry. Ready? Yeah. All right. Well, at least I feel good about mine. By the way, I love these Funko Pops that are separating us here. Our, our Funko Pop wall. Look at, <laughs> I mean, obviously you got the sports ones, you got Giannis, but look at this. Look at this uh, Marty McFly from Back to the Future here. That's signed by Michael J. Fox. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. I know you guys sell a lot of these on pristineauction.com. Yes, sir. All right, a silver rookie. Not the guy I want. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. And I do have, but see, that's just, nah, I can't do that. I can't just do a base, right? I'm not gonna win it with the base. Yeah, no. Even if no. it's even if it's the top rookie, the bases aren't gonna have a lot of value. Superstar silver insert's probably not gonna do it either. I'm giving you way too much information on this <laughs> side of the wall. <laughs> Man, I, I just feel like it's gotta be a numbered rookie to stop, right? I'm gonna regret. I feel like a few times I've gotten a card where it's like it could have won this a, thing. A numbered rookie, but not an the autograph right. rookie. Yeah. Or I. Uh, you know, and ideally a, a good rookie, ideally a top 10 rookie, or a, um, a, a low numbered star. Like if you got a low numbered yeah, yeah, LeBron, yeah. a low numbered sure. Steph. But I mean, the way this game works though, I might end up really being stuck. You never know. But, but I every might pack's too. had something I could would be okay being stuck with. So I guess that's on the positive note. All right. So you pass it on. That was like a silver LeBron insert. Okay. Which you know, what's that probably? Yeah. Like 30 bucks maybe? Yeah, not not a lot, not a lot. <laughs> not That's not that great of an decision. So these insult, aren't as so. hard of a decision for you? No, nope, that's not a hard decision. Gotta keep, right. gotta keep trucking. I need to do my homework. Gotta keep trucking. You made the right decision there. Oh, I missed one along the way, but it wasn't anything great. All right, so I got another color. All right. Oh, okay. All right, okay, I got oh. something now. All right, so this could be an interesting decision point. Um, this is a this is a pretty good rookie um, on a great team. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let me see where he is here in the yeah, yeah. He's he's yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stop. Ooh. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm leaving several packs wow. left, but I'm gonna stop. It's. It, I'm gonna stop. I feel good about that. I feel right. good about that. So my sources tell me you have a good rookie, and it's <laughs> probably a prism of some sort. So I just keep going now until I want to stop. You keep going until like you want to stop. You got to go pack by pack. Man, and it's you got to go pack by pack. It's a top rookie. It's got to be top three or four. It's got to be color. It's got to be numbered, right? Man. I feel like I'm in trouble. Oh, I see gold. Gold is usually good. Gold is great. Gold is usually good. A gold is great for a lot of players. I mean, gold I is great. Roller? Even even doesn't even have to be a superstar. Man, I got gold a whole lot solid. of whole lot of prismy going on in here. Let's see what the first one is. Another rookie, but in oh no, that gold's not going to work. That is number to ten, right? Oh no, forty nine. So that's the orange. So I can be a little gold. more. I can speak a little more freely but now. You right? can, yeah. You, there's nothing I can do. In. Yeah, the oranges look a little bit like the golds, but the oranges yeah. are number to 49. Trickery. All right, another man. I'm hitting rookies and I'm hitting prisms rookies, but just not the right ones. All right, moving on. I'm not beating you with any of that stuff. My orange was, I don't know, De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> not gonna do it. All right, what do I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, man. Gotta start assessing my risk here. I do like opening packs though. So, you know, this when you stop, you know, right, it's fun. More packs. That's true. I don't get to open these. <laughs> well, we're going to open them after to see what I passed up on because that's the other thing. There were, what, seven packs left to go. I did stop early. We'll see. Maybe there's something more valuable in one of those seven. All right. Even I'm not stopping. Even I'm not questioning a card in that pack. Now, when I played this game that's before, that was. which I played several times, I have often made the mistake of going too deep yeah, into it, which is one of the reasons of. why I decided to stop when I did. Yeah, I feel like I'm more on the conservative side with that stuff, but 
Although at the national, I did the opposite. I stopped too early, and then I got burnt mm. by. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think I saw that. Yeah. One. Two monster yeah, burns. Yeah, out yeah, of that yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that one's interesting. That was my pack battle against Alex, the kid. Yeah. All right. Well, this isn't a rookie, so it's not going to work. It's out of 149 though. Negatory. Okay. I like the hey, sound. I like, I like the sound of packs <laughs> ripping. If I'm losing, I'm going down swinging. I'm opening every darn pack. Man, there is color in almost every pack, huh? Makes it interesting. Yeah, you get 22 uh, parallels um, in a hobby box of prison basketball. So 12 packs, 22 parallels. Now, not all the parallels are numbered. That includes silver. That includes red wave, etc. But what do I have left here? Three. three Only got three left. packs left. Damn. Woo. But I, but I don't. But here's the thing. I like it. Have clearly you hit, based have off you, what you said. I didn't like pass on a card that had a shot. Have you hit There's your no autograph yet? I've hit one. Okay, so you got one and more was, autograph to go. All right. It was a monster. It was Plumley. Absolute <laughs> monster. But yeah, I do have an autograph. Did you hit an autograph? I don't. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh yeah, can't tell me that. I'm not gonna tell you. Your your good rookie could be an autograph. Oh no. Hey, my heart wants to stop here, but. My head will never, because it's not worth anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty hard away. I love that guy. I got two packs left, but I Woo! do have my autograph. That's my hope. That's true. You do have an autograph. That's my hope. You might have a rookie autograph as one of your last two packs. That might give you. That might give you a chance. Have you had? So, how often does it get to the last pack with these? I uh, a fair amount, because unfortunately, a fair amount of boxes don't have like a super <laughs> yeah. hit in them. You know. That's fair. You got it. A lot of times, you you kind of are waiting for that big hit, and and sometimes it never comes. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for that big hit. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of ripping wax. But then occasionally you'll get the big one, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm hooked forever. All right, I mean, this autograph has to be in this pack. Okay, so you're down your Unless last it's pack. it's just a really bad commercial for Panini. If I it mean, it, that can happen. <laughs> Could be redemption, but those still can have a lot of value. All right, here we go. Good luck. This Good is luck. This last pack. Good I got luck. No, I got no decisions to make now. We just got to slow roll an autograph. All right, here we go. No pressure, just a $2,000 pull here. That's not gonna do it. All right, autograph, come on, baby. Oh my goodness. You got something? Oh my goodness. You got something? I did. There oh, it man. is. Last pack mojo. Yes, it What's was. Go What's going on? I don't know a lot about this rookie class, but I know this guy. He's okay. legitimate. All right. All right, I think we got a game here. Okay, did you just beat me on the last pack? Is that it possible? Could be, could be. Are we gonna take down our could Funko Pop be. wall? All right, before Check we reveal the out. winner, I wanna, I wanna remind you guys what I said in the video when we did the warehouse tour. PristineAuction.com, register, use registration code SCI. When you register for an account on PristineAuction.com, you get an immediate $10 credit in your account to use on these Funko Pops or all the other amazing things they have, sports cards, okay. It is time. Is yours numbered? Mine is not numbered. Oh, mine isn't either. Okay. But it is an autograph. You got a rookie autograph? I got a rookie autograph. All right, let's get this wall out of here. I got a rookie autograph as well. Wow, we got oh. the exact same <laughs> card. However, different players. We both have this Sensational Signatures rookie wow. autograph, and they're both... Um, is yeah. that an autograph, though? Uh, well, that's my mine's <laughs> questionable as to whether it's autograph or not. I have Jonathan Kuminga of the Golden State Warriors. He is the sixth most valuable rookie. You have Evan <laughs> Mobley. You have Evan Mobley of the Cleveland Cavaliers who is the fourth most wow. valuable rookie. Jared, you just won this pack battle last with your last pack. pack mojo. Congratulations to you. Takes me down with the slightly better rookie. Unbelievable. All right, well, just for fun, we got to rip these last packs here just to see if I passed up on something I shouldn't have passed nice. up on. We could just rip these at the same time. Okay. Let's just go through them real quick here and show the audience if uh, if I made a, a horrific mistake by um, you know by missing something you know super good here. Step oh, that is a oh, Seth Curry. I'm sorry, Seth Curry out of 49. That's a cool card. That wouldn't do it. Number to 75. Not this one's not going to do it, but an Alec 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 Burks number to 75 uh, NBA 75th parallel. That's pretty sweet. That wouldn't have done it, but that's a cool card. Man, the same card. Sensational <laughs> signature rookie autos. That's good though that we got in these two boxes. We got two 
of the top six rookies. I mean, yeah, and we got their rookie cool. autos from Prism. I mean, that's pretty solid. So they got these aren't like short print, are they? Like these throwback? No, veterans? they're not. They just they Russell just they too. just throw they just put put uh, put veterans in the product every year. All right, so those two packs, there was nothing, nothing of interest. Yeah, I'm uh, going to be shocked interest. if you pass on something more valuable, but it's yeah. possible. I still have another numbered card or two to go here, I think, so we'll see. Nothing in mine. Jalen Johnson Silver. Oh, uh, I got my other, so my other, uh, that's the other auto. Was a Darius Basley He's auto? Not a rookie, right? No, not not a rookie. Um, so Darius Basley. So that would not have been more valuable, but um, it's pretty cool. Oklahoma City. They're an up and coming team. So perhaps. So I guess pack? that's what's that? Was that your last pack? Yeah, I think I have one pack left here. Last pack. So this is my last pack mojo here. So all that means is that Darius Basley is going to be a nice addition to your collection, Jared, and anything else in this pack. I just hope I pull, and maybe we get like a, a one of one here, just to send you out. Okay, Charles Bassey, that's uh, the red wave, not numbered. And uh, Luca Fireworks. Okay, we got a Josh Giddy base rookie card. He's the fifth most valuable rookie, but that's just a base, but still fifth most valuable rookie. So that's not bad. And Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs is what, the 10th? Uh, 11th most valuable rookie, just a base once again, so not super valuable, but uh, so we both. you got a couple of rookies. We both so uh, kept our We best actually cards. stopped, I think, on our best cards. Yeah. I think we stopped on our best cards, but unfortunately, yours is better than mine. Unfortunate for me, fortunate for you, but this was a lot of fun. And Jared, thank you for hosting us here at Pristine Auction. This has been a, a fun day. If you guys haven't seen the tour from Sunday, for whatever reason, go watch it right now. It's absolutely incredible. And once again, register for pristineauction.com. Use registration code SCI for an instant $10 credit in your account for the hundreds of thousands of amazing items that they sell here all the time. This Thanks is for great. coming. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you soon with our next one. Take care.